What a fortunate human. To have fallen so far, but only have superficial injuries. At least, from what I can see. If I inspect their side, perhaps there might be signs of worse injuries. We will see for now. Ah, you're awake. I understand the confusion. You are safe for now. Oh, I apologize. Perhaps this is not the right time to work on your injuries. I assume you would like an explanation. Well, as to the nature of the spaceship, I cannot tell you. I cannot even tell you its name. What I can say, though, from my explorations, we seem to be in an unworldly ship. Perhaps it is ancient. Perhaps it is in the future. There are some technologies here that perhaps humans may be familiar with. The clock, for example, is one of them, but other than that, well, I cannot say more. You see, I was once human like you. Forgive me, but I really must tend to your injuries if there are any. Do you feel sore in any side of your body? I will see. While I inspect you, I can tell you what happened to me. I, as I said, was once human like you. And, well, I don't remember much, except for how I got here. I remember being in a human function, groups of people I needed to get away. There was something compelling me to move out, find my own space. Then I heard something. Like the tick-tock of a clock. And so I followed that sound. You don't seem to have any injuries here. That's good. So yes, I followed that sound, and I fell. The fall felt fatal. I felt bones in my once human form break. I felt pain, if I still remember how that felt. And then, this huge Bronze, machine, statue, creature, something, picked me up, and then I fell unconscious. I woke up, and my body was no longer the same. As you can see, my arm is fully mechanical. And so is the rest of my body, except for my hands. This hand. And a part of my face. Which is probably why you recognized me as human for a minute. You called out to a name, but that is not my name. No, unfortunately I don't remember my name. All I remember was the party. The sound, the fall, the bones, and that bronze machine.
Luckily for you, it doesn't seem like you will befall my fate as well. For you do not have any severe injuries, do not have any cracked bones. You are as human as you can be. All I have to do is to take care of your superficial wounds and all of that mess around your body that is sticking to you. You fell into a web of cords in this ship, you see, and that's how I found you. It was difficult to remove you, as so many things were sticking to your body, and a number of cords are still on you, actually. So I will take care of those first, and then, if there are any bruises, I will take care of those too, before I allow you to go back to sleep. Mm-hmm. Yes. Hopefully, when you wake up, you will not have transformed. As I said, I broke my bones, and you have not. So, I will be taking care of you right now. Please, relax and stay calm. It will make this process a bit more easier. Perhaps the sound of this ship can soothe you. Hmm? And if you feel any other pain, please tell me, and I will do my very best to take care of you. I will begin by removing the mess around this side first. I had tools prepared. For this very situation, I don't know how I found these, but they have come in handy for you. Let's begin by removing this side first. Forgive me if my nails scrape your skin. I will try my best not to. After all, I would not want to give you any discomfort. You must be already so confused. We are doing this slowly, but surely, to ensure any thing that can hurt you is taken away from you. Thank you for your patience and for understanding the situation, even though things are very confusing right now. It's a bit tricky with these nails. I haven't figured out a way to get rid of them. Seems that in my transformation, these nails have turned into something that's somewhat durable and difficult to remove without inflicting harm on myself. There. Perhaps I can now take off a cord. One of the cords, at least. Don't worry. I'm sure you will feel it when I remove it from you. It feels heavy, doesn't it, at first? There. That's part of the wire is gone.
Now for the other side. This side isn't as severe as the other one, but I will still take my time. While I am here, will you tell me if you feel any other pain anywhere else? Good. Then I was right in my earlier assessment. You do not have any severe physical trauma. Perhaps mental trauma though, yes. It must be a little bit disturbing to find yourself here. Perhaps you may even think of this as just a dream. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe I am also in a dream. But that doesn't explain how I've been here for so long. I don't remember myself. Despite this ship being surrounded by clocks, I don't know how long I've been here. Just that I've been here. For a while now. There's a bit more here that I must get rid of. I'm not sure what this substance is myself, but it's imperative that we get rid of it so that we can clear all the wires on you. I've been able to freely explore this ship. However, there are some places I haven't figured out how to enter. Like the captain's area, for one. Yes. Well, perhaps the bronze machine that saved me is located there, but I have never seen it. I feel as if that was the captain's area. It seemed logical, but perhaps when you get to see it, you will think of a different hypothesis. There, I've taken out that one too. Now it's time to remove the wire. This isn't going to hurt, I promise. There we are. Most of the wires have been removed, but now I just have to take care of the one that's at top of your head. Allow me to inspect your body one more time, please. It 
Everything seems clear here. And here as well. Hmm. Then, it seems I can now take care of your superficial wounds. Good. I found some bandages in the ship. It has surprised me to even find these, but these will help you. You don't seem to have any deep cuts, but we will still have to bandage the wounds on your sides. Does it hurt? Good. I'm glad it doesn't ache you so. It seems to be a little long. Let me cut it. side as well. I have no idea how I was able to find these human items. Perhaps they were mine at one point, when I have been discovered by that bronze and silver machine. If so, I wonder what type of life I used to lead. You are lucky you have not forgotten who you are. I sometimes hope that when the clocks strike midnight and I fall asleep, if I can at least dream of who I was back then. Alas, all I remember was how I got here in the first place. Now, I need to cut this part of the band-aid too. That should help. Hopefully, your wounds heal faster this way.
There are a couple more things to do. First, I must brush a couple more substances out of you. Just to make sure you don't have any left in your internals. and slow so that you may also see this as a relaxing endeavor. The next step now is to make sure that the rest of your body feels good. I know that you have had wounds, but I would like to make sure that you are not feeling any internal pain. Allow me to just stretch and move your limbs just to make sure that they aren't in pain. We'll start on this side first. You don't feel any pain over here. Okay. You don't mind if I move your limb up and down. See if there is any issue, yes? I promise I will not hurt you. If anything, I could probably even provide some relief to stretch out your limbs, especially after being tangled in such a way that I found you. Alright. Calm down. Take a deep breath. There. Do you feel better? Good. Go ahead on the other side now. Do you feel any pain on this side? Do you mind if I repeat the same stretch I did a while ago? All right. Take a deep breath again. And... Feel a little bit better? Good. attended to. I advise that you try and get some sleep. Close your eyes. Relax. And I'll do whatever I can to help you get to sleep. Do you think some sounds will help you? 
Yes, I found that sounds also help me go to sleep too. So please, close your eyes, relax, and let us hope that by the time your eyes open again, we will find more answers. I have found a way to combine some sounds and help you go to sleep. I will continue my ministrations and hope that this aids you in your sleep. Close your eyes and keep them closed. The sounds will keep playing and playing and playing until hopefully you find some sleep. <laughs>